Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to set up your workspace for Minecraft modding 1.16. So the first thing that you're going to get is the Java J JDK 8. Um, and this is going to let you um, develop using Java. So my system is a Windows 64 bit, so I'm just going to download this one. And you're going to need to log into Oracle. If you don't have an account, then you're going to need to create one. It's kind of annoying, but you just need to get through it. So that's going to start downloading, and after that, we're going to install. And I already have um, this installed, so it's going to um, tell me I've already installed it, but just go through all the steps and get it installed. You don't need to change any of the defaults. And so then the next thing you're going to do is get um, your Eclipse workspace. So uh, Eclipse download. Just go here and then download. That's where this whole thing is just about donating to them. And so while that's downloading, we can go to the Minecraft Forge website and grab those files as well. And I'm just going to get the latest version, even if it's more buggy, because why not? And skip add. And so to set up our convenient folder so we can keep track of all of our mods, we just make a folder called Minecraft Mods. And then inside of here, the syntax that you want to name your mods um, is just uh, words with no spaces in between. So you can just do your mod name, something like that. And then for in the future, if you want to create another, then you just make a new folder right there in this folder. Um, so for now, we're just going to have this one. And so if we go to downloads and extract the forge files, then we'll be able to copy them into that folder. So let's just grab all of these, copy, and then go back to this folder and copy them in. And that looks like... So we need Eclipse installed in order to do the next step for these Forge files. So I'm just going to go ahead with the install for Eclipse now. So we're just going to clip, uh, click Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And just click install. And all of these are going to be longer for you guys because I've already installed this stuff. But um, yeah, you just got to wait through it. So once this is done, um, you're just going to launch, and I don't like shortcuts. So just go with the default workspace because it doesn't really matter unless you care about um, your user folder being jumped up, but it should be fun. So now we have this open and we have Eclipse. So now let's just go back and we need to um, set up some files in here and we're going to let uh, the command prompt do that for us so just do cmd go to the command prompt and we're going to need to navigate to this directory so just go here and copy this directory and then just do cd for change directory and copy uh, and paste that into here so now we've changed our directory and so now we're in the folder and we're just going to do um, grab the oh, Gradle, W, and space, gen, eclipse, runs. And in the last setup video I made, um, people were talking about having a build fail um, when they first ran this command, and I actually strangely got this on this new computer, um, but then I just ran it again, and it worked fine. So if that happens to you, just try running it again. And then the next thing we need to do to configure it for Eclipse so we can actually open our code is um, Gradle W Eclipse. And this one should be shorter. And also the build um, should be around like eight minutes for you guys. So don't worry if it takes longer than 20 seconds. So now if we go back to our folder, we can see 
a whole bunch more files. And so we know that the setup worked and it also said it was successful. So now we can close these and now we can just go to Eclipse. So just search Eclipse right here. So now we need to import the project. So we're just going to click import projects, or if you already have projects, then you can just do um, file import. And then right here, you're going to drop down from general and go to existing projects into workspace. And then we're just going to browse for our mod right there, and then just select that folder and then finish. Yeah, there you go. Now you have all the code for your mod, and this is just the example file, but you can mess around with that, look up tutorials on how to program 1.16. So, yeah, that's it.